Welcome back to another awesome growing guide. Today let me show you how to grow this very delicious vegetable that you can easily grow in your own garden. We grew bak choy from seed in the month of November, in South Indian weather. The results were amazing. However, we made several mistakes along the way which we could have avoided. We started in hydroponically, the same way we did for growing okra seedlings, and we encountered the same problem, that is, the weather. Bak choy is very easy to grow, and it's worth your time and taste. At its starting stage it can be grown under a partial shade. But after a size of one inch leaf we should have moved them outside. This is why it took so long time for us to grow them. You can actually grow them in less than 30 days if you don't make the mistakes we made. You cannot do hydroponics above 26 degrees centigrade. If you do, this is what happens. They will look like deflated balloons. Since our outdoor hydroponics failed, we transplanted them to regular containers having nothing but just moist cocoa peat. This solved our problem. The second big mistake we made was over fertilization. The leaves turn white in color, as though it burns. Bak choy does not require much fertilizer, but they need more water and cooler sunlight. For this reason it is important to add mulch to the top layer of your growing medium. Watch out for aphids, cabbage loopiers or caterpillars if you grow them in an area with a lot of heat and butterflies. Slugs and snails also love to chew on the leaves. When harvesting, hold your knife to the bottom of the plant, and with your other hand held to the top of the plant. This will leave a clean cut. After harvesting them, do not expect the plant to regrow from the stump like the original plant. That does not work either. The final result is a tasty and juicy vegetable that you can add to your soups. Thank you for watching.